Tiki Waka as the Gerslauer bobsled coaster at Wallaby, Belgium. This coaster is a fun theme in a really cool location, but does the ride deliver the same forces as the other Gerslauer bobsleds? Find out in this review. In 2017, Wallaby, Belgium announced a multi-year 100 million euro expansion plan. Tiki Waka kickstarted this plan in 2018. The ride was placed in a brand new area known as Exotic World, which had a Polynesian theme, and this ride adds so much energy to the land. The track is placed directly above and around the midway. Parts of the ride dive beneath play structures and then head over the water for good measure, and you'll often see multiple cars cycling at once to give the land a ton of life. This coaster has catchy teal track and yellow supports, allowing it to pop against the shrubbery. Then the cars are a weird tropical parody of a modern race car. The station looks fantastic too, as it's themed to look like a giant wooden hut. But this ride's presentation goes beyond the visuals. It also has a fun soundtrack from IMAScore that gives me the vibes of both a tropical resort and a retro video game at the same time. This is one of Wallaby Belgium's most popular attractions, and when paired with the super small vehicles that can only accommodate a max of four riders, Tiki Waka often has a long line. It routinely hovers around the 40 to 60 minute mark most days. There are a few ways to avoid a long wait though. First, you can rope drop the attraction. Since it is towards the back of the park, you can usually get a lap or two before crowds reach it. Two, you can purchase a paid speedy pass. Three, you can use the single rider line. This was actually faster than speedy pass in most cases, and I never had to wait more than five minutes when I did this. I highly recommend taking advantage of it. Like the other Gerslauer bobsleds, each car is just two rows of two, and riders are secured by individual lap bars. I don't think the row matters in this one from a force perspective. Once you're ready to dispatch, lanterns ahead of you light up like racing lights, and then you round a corner. You then ascend the 69 foot or 21 meter tall lift hill. The first drop looks decently steep for the genre, but offers no air. Unfortunately, you won't get any airtime on any hill on Tiki Waka. That's a bit of a bummer because the other Gerslauer bobsleds typically have some bunny hills that'll pop you out of your seat. After the short first drop, you have an elevated S-bend, and then you rise upwards. You then sharply fly around a hairpin turn, getting some good laterals. Then you hit the first of several mid-course brake runs. You barely slow down this one and rip around another hairpin turn, delivering another strong dose of laterals, and this immediately leads into an okay drop. Then you have an elevated camelback that leads into a turnaround that includes this weird outer banked bunny hill. These are nicely positioned above the midway, but I just wish they could pair those visuals with some airtime. You then twist into another brake run, getting some okay laterals on the way. You then roll through the brakes and navigate an S-bend downwards. The second part of this has some really good laterals and a nice head chopper as you shoot underneath a play structure. It's probably my favorite element on the ride. This is followed by an S-hill. The element itself is uneventful, but you do have another head chopper with a climbing structure at the bottom. You then head into another mid-course brake run, getting a pinch of laterals on the way up. Tiki Waka then twists to the right, offering some great laterals. Then you navigate three consecutive bunny hills. This is one of those spots where you really notice the lack of airtime, but the final hill at least goes through a fun theming structure. You then have an okay helix above the water that wraps upwards into the final brakes, ending the 1,850 foot or 564 meter long coaster. Some Gerslauers are plagued by a shuffle, but Tiki Waka is glass smooth. This never seems to be an issue for their bobsled models. So what would I rate Tiki Waka? I would give this Gerslauer bobsled a 6 out of 10. This is a decent coaster. I really like this ride's appearance and how it's integrated into the exotic world area. That's probably the ride's biggest strength. Then the coaster also has some nice laterals peppered throughout, particularly whenever you're entering and exiting those brake runs. Pacing wise, this coaster does hold its speed pretty well for this type of ride, even with all the brake runs, but not all the elements are winners. That is my biggest gripe with this coaster. It is shockingly light on the positive forces and completely barren on airtime. I'm not expecting thigh crushing ejector airtime, but I was at least hoping the half dozen bunny hills would at least give pops of airtime, much like you get in the other bobsled coasters. If those hills were as good as it looked, T 
Tiki Waka would easily be one of the best bobsleds. Nonetheless, it is still a good ride for families. So those are my thoughts on Tiki Waka at Wallaby, Belgium. What are your thoughts on this Gerslauer bobsled? Do you think it's one of the stronger installations? Or do you have the same gripes as me? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.